everybody, it's Adam and we are coming to you from the AATS convention in Philadelphia. I'm thrilled to be standing next to uh, Dr. Richard Scheman, who is from my hometown of Los Angeles. He's the professor and chairman of cardiac surgery at UCLA and we've got a great question for Dr. Scheman. It's from Jenny and she writes in, Adam, at 38 years old, I need aortic valve replacement. The durability of a mechanical valve is attractive. But it seems like so many people of all ages are getting tissue valves. Is that a trend that I should be paying attention to? Well, Jenny, I think at 38 years of age, clearly you should consider if you need an aortic valve replacement, a surgeon that can do it minimally invasively. The second thing is valve choice is a big decision. And I don't really recommend looking into both pros and cons of tissue valves versus mechanical valves. There is no perfect heart valve, but if you're undergoing a valve replacement, whatever valve you choose should be better than the one you currently have. At 38 years of age, if you finished having your family, you have so many wonderful years ahead of you, a mechanical valve will give you the durability that potentially you will never need to have that valve replaced. But you will have to take lifelong anticoagulation and studying the pros and cons and how to safely take anticoagulation is very, very important. Many of us recommend home testing in addition to follow up with your doctor. A tissue valve will obviously will give you the opportunity to have a valve which is almost maintenance free. You don't have to take any special medication except for maybe an aspirin. But over time that valve may deteriorate. A reoperation is standard, it can be done with low risk 10, 15, or 20 years later. And some of the newer technologies that we have to percutaneously advance a catheter-based valve into the position and within the tissue valve that you may have implanted at this time will probably be a viable option. So do your homework and I think you will get a good result. Great. Well, I hope that helped Jenny. I know it helped me understand a little bit more and learn more. Dr. Scheman, as always, thanks for coming by. I really thank appreciate you, seeing you again. And we'll be talking to you hopefully in the near future. And thank you for the service you provide to all of our patients and helping to understand heart disease and how to find the right surgeon. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Keep on ticking.